That's how we turned this nasty bedroom and our fixer upper into a beautiful baby's nursery. Here's a closer look on what the bedroom used to look like when we first bought our house. As you can see, it was in pretty rough shape. Our home was built in 1956 and hasn't really seen many upgrades since then. The original owner had closed off a window and a door that led to an old patio that had been converted into part of the living room. As you can see, the patch job was not very good. And this wall happened to be at an angle anyway. So we decided to take it down and reframe it. So this wall will be straight. Did you happen to catch the giant hole where the electrician fell through the ceiling? <laughs> So once we got all that fixed, we painted the walls white just to give it a blank slate and then we installed some floors. Fast forward all of the trim work installation, the new doors and painted window to the blank slate room that you probably recognize. I installed the nursery wallpaper and then we decided to add wainscoat paneling, trim and crown molding all throughout the space. I did all the patchwork and then it was time for paint. At this point, we installed the curtains, wall shelves, light fixture and wall art and brought in all of the furniture. Then it was time for all of the decorative touches and the final look. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and follow for more DIYs, home renovation and interior design.